Now, thymus gland. This is going to be very important for SARS. Because of the, the connections and the research that we do, I'm very well connected in the research community on different viruses, different bugs. Uh, WHO, the World Health Organization, is utilizing Cornell and Harvard, John Hopkins, just the UCLA, UC Davis, and, uh, and a host of others. They are trying to find something, anything, that's going to help with SARS. The first or the greatest often, or the best uh, uh, way to protect yourself is to have a great defense. The way that you get a great defense with your immune system is to make sure that your thymus gland is not just okay and, and kind of functional, but 100% active. Because it's going to direct not just your cell Im uh, mediated immune side, your humoral side. SARS attacks both sides. Your thymus gland is so drastically important like this little girl that's, that's sitting here in the front row. And she's hiding. <laughs> Her thymus gland is fully functional. If you're, if you're 25 years or older, raise your hand. Oh, now come on. You, got some, you have somebody in a wheelchair going, I'm 15. Doesn't work. I say this not just as, as a joke. I'm serious. If you are, if you are uh, f let, let's even go younger. If you're 13 or 14 or older, raise your hand. Because your thymus gland is already be beginning to shrink at 13 or 14. By the time you're 25, it's half of what it was. By the time you're 38, it's, it's tiny. If you're above that, it's a strand of tissue. This is what's going to direct your body's ability to fight this, different, this, this disease. You want it functional. With WinIG6, we have proven at Cornell time and time and time again, we can regrow it to where it's fully 100% functional. <clears throat> it's used in two sides. If you've been doing your, your reading or your research or watching the news, it's been interesting with SARS because lately there's been a shift and they are thinking that the SARS virus is mutating. Why? Because if you looked at it when it first came out, the very, very young were getting sick and dying. The very, very old were getting sick and dying. But the middle class, unless you had a, a, a respiratory illness already, you would get sick, your body would respond, and you would come out of it. Have you noticed in the last two weeks, though, the death toll is rising? And what they are saying is it's coming from healthy individuals. Something is mutating within the, within the strain of virus. It's a multi-strain virus. It's not just one. It attacks in several different ways. It directly affects your immune system. Why? How? You have white blood cells that go out and they kill viruses. That's the first immune response that your body's going to have. What does, the, what does the SARS virus do? It stops the oxygenation of those cells so your body's not going to produce it. What does that mean? You don't have anything to fight it. And that virus continues to grow. And then it begins to attack the respiratory system. And because your cells don't get enough oxygen, which, by the way... If you're not taking this every day, Randy should pat me on the back. This is vitally important. Why? Because it gives your body a foundation of oxygen for every cell. If you're gonna, if you're gonna bring oxygen to the cells, you're gonna allow your body to fight different bugs better, different viruses. <clears throat> 